hey, just here. Uh, wanted to brainstorm some Palpatine video ideas because I'm really, really low on my Palpatine content. Uh, and it just so happens I'm getting into my Palpatine tomorrow to do a little filming with Backyard Tripod Film. And so I thought it'd be great to hop on, get some ideas. Uh, I have need to pull out blah, pull out a, a notepad and write down write down any ideas that you guys can throw at me. Um, no one's here yet, it looks like. So I do gotta wait for people to show up, of course. But I'm excited. Been a while since I've been alive. Actually, when I got on, like the last live I did was Gross von Krampus. So that has been like since December at least. So a very long time since I've done a live. So I thought about time I need to hop on and do a live and get some video ideas from everyone, you know? So yeah, just waiting for people to show up. Oh, I do want to pull that out because I want to show you all that. D Benz joined my live. Hello. Have you ever thought about being a comedian? I mean, yeah. I think I'm, you know, I think I'm kind of funny. Uh, not, I mean, I'm not the funniest guy in the world. But I think I'm pretty funny with what I do. Um, I'm not like a stand-up comedian or anything. I'm definitely more of a, I'm, I'm a comedic actor. So I can do that. I don't know about just being a straight-up comedian. Uh, but I appreciate your vote of confidence. Greetings from the UK. That's awesome. Danielle is here on the YouTube. Hello. You're very funny. Thank you very much, Ozma. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, uh, now that there's a few of you here, what I'm doing is I am looking uh, tomorrow, I am getting into the Palpatine makeup. Uh, I'm working on a little film with Backyard Tripod Film, uh, and I'm being the emperor in it, obviously. And so... Uh, I just I want to film more uh, content while I'm in makeup because you never never waste not want not you know never waste an opportunity when you're in makeup to make some content, and so um, yeah, so just looking for that, looking looking uh, for some ideas, you know, just brainstorming, and yeah. Oh, you, you look like Pedro Pascal. Thank you. <laughs> Thoughts on Back to the Future? I love Back to the Future. It is one of my all time favorite films. I would actually say that it is my favorite film of all time. I like Star Wars. Yes, I do. I do like Star Wars. Palpatine comforting someone. Like, I guess, what do you mean by just like, like, there, there, good job. You know, or or what, what do you mean by comforting, I guess? You make an insanely convincing Palpatine and sing you out of costume is insane. You'd never uh, confuse real you with Palpatine. Thank you very much for saying that. I've had people say that, you know, I look better when I'm in Palpatine. So that's always a little. <laughs> but thank you, uh, Chog the Great. I really appreciate that. Uh, Von Zoom, thank you for the gift. Hello there, Blizzard Peak. Hello, everyone. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, just uh, brainstorming video ideas. So if you happen, let me grab a, I have a, a little Coke, you know, to drink while we're while we're chit-chatting. Palpatine giving Padawan Anakin relationship advice. Ooh, I think that's a good idea. Uh, relationship advice. Ooh, I dropped my pen. Uh, relationship. Advice. I like that. B-I-C-E. You know, pickup lines. I saw some Palpatine pickup lines. I want to recreate pickup lines. Thank you very much for the roses. Where will you be filming? Um, so I, for, um, I feel like the video of Palpatine merrily skipping through the flowers would be pretty funny. That would be pretty funny, actually. Uh, hello, Rio. Uh, I'm filming at uh, some ruins in Silver City. It's going to be like a Jedi temple ruins. But, I mean, I can film wherever, really. Uh, and then I'll probably be coming home and doing a lot in my house. You're in Ireland. That's awesome. Like someone's family disowns them and Palpatine is like, the dark side won't. Oh yeah, the dark side accepts everyone. I like that. Wish I could brainstorm with you, but too many rebels are watching me. One day 
We will rule the universe together, great one. Thank you very much. I agree. Something I reckon would be hilarious is doing a series on Palpatine trying different types of professions. I've always thought that'd be good too. And it's just it's hard to I'm not I'm not a writer. I'm not. I'm an actor for sure. And I a little bit of improv. So definitely need to uh it's something like that. I feel like I would need to write more, plus it's harder to find um different like locations and places that will let you film and do stuff like that so that's always a little hard uh we can um palpatine in the drive through palpatine goes to the bank palpatine does marriage counseling oh marriage counseling could be fun um drive throughs one other fun it's just weird because a lot of people try not to react hey gabe uh hello mein freund how are you von thank you for the rose so many nice people gifting me stuff. I appreciate it. You know, maybe I need to, like, I have my cameras set, you know, here, here, and here. Maybe I need to move them so they're all just, like, right here. Um, that might be better because then I don't have to look in one direction because I feel like I'm missing good ideas. Palpatine going off on being a Swifty. Oh, that would be pretty funny, actually, Palpatine being a Swifty. Uh, happy late birthday. Thank you very much. Palpatine goes to church. That could be fun. Um, uh, yeah, feel free to share the live or whatever. Uh, invite people. I think I am going to move at least at least this camera. Come here. Let go. So that I'm not looking in as many places. Sorry, everyone. For, uh, yeah. A little out there, but Palpatine promoting the soda Mountain Dew Voltage. That'd be cool. Mountain Dew it. That with extra voltage. That could be pretty fun. Maybe. That's a, that's a great idea. I like that. I'm going to write that one down. Because I've done a Mountain Dew it before. Mountain Dew Voltage. I wonder if I can find a voltage around here. I'm sure I can, right? Palpatine on the dark. Or uh, ASMR with Palpatine. And or dark side karaoke karaoke that could be fun too, Mr. Wimpy. Where you been? I'm right here, Gabe. Where you been? Hope you're going to class. Mr. Wimpy is my favorite person. Thank you. Um, he lives with his GF and he's 38. Oh yes, I do live with my my girlfriend and I am 38. Hello, Corver. How are you? Palpatine Spa Day. I've already done a Palpatine Spa Day video. Um, that one is actually a lot of fun. I did a whole lot of little shorts, but then I did like a whole like whole day at the spa. You should look it up if you haven't seen it yet. It's it's pretty fun. Unlimited sugar. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Yes, my birthday was yesterday. Um, so yeah. Papa Palpatine reaction to being offended. Ah, stop. Pose. Uh, being offended, uh, rejection to being offered a death stick. That could be fun. Palpatine becomes an electrician. Uh, I would love to do something like that. Palpatine filming a failed workout video, then blowing up the planet in anger. <laughs> that could be a lot of fun. Hello, Papa Palpatine, simply skywalking. Hi, good to see you, pal. Nice. Are you going back to the future? Yes, I am. Always going back to the future. Why not? One of my favorite films. Uh, workout. That one. Palpatine workout would be good. I've I've done it where I had like weights, like little, and they were just like little tiny hand weights. And like, I'm too weak. I'm too weak. Like trying to do the, the workout. Um, I've done like a, some death stick stuff with Palpatine already. I could definitely do more. General Kenobi, or should I say Ray Skywalker Angel Wings. Hello there. Palpatine goes on a health kick. Diet, gym, running. Yeah, I like that idea. That's fun. Palpatine gym. I'm going to write that down. See what I can do. Palp, gym. And hey, like if anyone has any good sounds, uh, I guess this is more for, for my TikTok folks. If you have any good sounds, you think we could go to Palpatine, like send me, send me some videos. I'll look at the sounds, maybe be able to use them. I think that'd be great. Uh, how are you and how was your birthday? I'm doing well. My birthday was great. Palpatine uh, signs up for plenty of fish. Oh. oh, that might be funny. 
Oh, that, that might be funny, actually. I'm, I'm trying to think how I would pull that off and, like, make that work. Palpatine rejects, re gets re rejected by cosmetic surgeon because his face is too far gone. <laughs> I kind of did that in the spa one. You dress as Palpatine and you somehow return. I always somehow return. B-Train, how's it going? Uh, Ignacio, hello. Yeah, I can remember you. Lots of people on. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, invite more people. You know, I think I'm going to move this one to over here. Just so I can only look in one spot. Because I feel like, again, like I feel like I'm just missing stuff. So here, let me move you. Oops, sorry, everyone. Moving. Shuffling. Shuffling. Moving. Okay, I think that might be a little better. Yeah, Palpatine doing dating site. I second that one. Okay, I'll write that one down. Palp. Uh, I guess I can. I don't need to write palp on one of these because it's all going to be palp. Sounds good. To physio for a hip replacement or a back injury. That might be good. Uh, I love you as Palpatine. Thank you very much, Dark Side Girl. I appreciate that. I have a lot of fun doing Palpatine. Pick up dumbbells. Unlimited power. Whimper audio? I don't know what that means. Like me whimpering? Palpatine sets up romantic picnic and gets ghosted by his first date. Oh, what if <laughs> he gets ghosted, meaning it's a force ghost that like shows up? That would be pretty funny. Oh, that might be really funny. I'm going to do that like ghosted force ghost date i mean that could be funny like even if, if, it, if it was a jedi that he killed dude like oh well you know this is awkward uh, didn't know this was like getting ghosted palpatine watches moon knight oh i really do like moon knight palpatine orange fitness thought about that palpatine does whimper audio okay we're just out here, you know, sharing our kinks. That's interesting. Hi, what is it? Onyx Soul, how are you? You team up with loads of different Palpatine impersonators and you argue about who is the Senate. That would be a fun one too. But again, I would need a load of Palpatine impersonators. Palpatine considered dating a Jedi Master, like my little green friend. Uh, let's see. How about Palpatine uses Force Lightning to regenerate the gigawatts needed to send the time machine back to the future? That would be really fun. I wish I could do something like that. Yeah. Oh, I'll have, to, I'll have to think about that one. That one's interesting. Palpatine tries to learn to play the guitar. That's fun. Read the robot chicken phone call. What the hell is an aluminum falcon? Oh, I've I've done that kind of. I would actually love to like really recreate that. Like get go into an office you know, deck it out and like really recreate that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. My favorite video I do edit with you on TikTok the other day is one with you on the horse. You're really like, that was a lot of fun, huh? Uh, that was an older video actually, uh, but I just reposted it. It was one of the on this day things. Uh, Palpatine could be you in different hats. Oh, that could be pretty funny. Palpatine buys a puppy and tries toilet training. Again, fun idea. Lot of investment. <laughs> That's one of the problems, you know. Like, like <laughs> sometimes there's there's these ideas that I get too for different Palpatine videos that are just so big and so out there, and I think would be hilarious. But it really is like, oh, I don't know how I would pull that off. So yeah, um, interesting. Palpatine reacts to Dark Side of the Moon. That's no moon. Will the Blue Ranger cosplay come sooner? I don't know. I would love to do a Blue Ranger cosplay. I will say, like, I feel... Let me preface this. Cosplay is for everyone. It doesn't matter um, your age, your gender, your size, your sex, your, your anything. Cosplay is for everyone. But I think cosplaying as a Blue Ranger in 
like the regular spandex, I don't think I would feel comfortable. And that's me. I'm not saying about anyone else. Me personally, I don't know if I would feel comfortable being in the blue spandex right now. Um, I used to go to the gym so often and, and it's been a very long time since I've gone consistently. And so I would love to get back, try and trim up a little bit. And then I would love to do that. But I've also thought about doing different versions of the Blue Ranger. Um, probably the next cosplay coming down the shoot, other than Palpatine, obviously. Uh, I am heftily working on my Mandalorian. I have all of my armor parts. I'm waiting on my soft goods and my leather parts. And then my Palpatine is rip roaring. Not my Palpatine. My Mandalorian is rip roaring ready to go. I'm very excited for that one. Uh, I'm also working on a Beetlejuice uh, cosplay. More, more of the Beetlejuice um, from the Broadway show. So I would love to see that. Amanda, hello! Hi there, General Kenobi. Good to see you. Palpatine goes skydiving. Oh my gosh, my friend Billy Duke has asked me to go skydiving as Palpatine. And I would love to. I'm a little bit nervous about skydiving. And then on top of that, I don't know how the, the prosthetic would respond to jumping out of a plane. Uh, Palpatine giving Anakin dating and marriage advice and pick uh, and pick up Padme. You need to be done at a fan convention. Oh, that could be fun too. Um, Amanda, by the way, I was going to message you. Again, I'm getting into... Can we do a photo shoot already? Uh, Amy, I was going to message you too. So... <laughs> Yes, I want to do a I want to do a photo shoot already. But Amanda, I'm getting into Palpatine tomorrow for a film thing. If you want to do a little interview with Palpatine for whatever project you're working on, let me know. We need to set up something. Amy, we need to set up something too. I need to start growing my mustache for a play uh, probably next month. But I want to get into Palpatine one more time before that. I want to coordinate with you, Amy, and find a day that we can. Um, uh, find a day that we can like we'll do a, like I can film and photo shoot and film some more sort of thing. So like I just need to I need to message with you and we need to pick a day that we're both available so that we can do a photo shoot already. You just got a custom lightsaber. That's great. That is so great. Palpatine goes to therapy. Oh, I got uh, the Palpatine sees a, sees, a, sees a therapist. Two people said that now. That's great. Onyx, I hope your lightsaber is pretty cool. Oh, do a Star Wars Lord of the Rings crossover using the quote, you shall not pass. Maybe Darth Vader gets flun flunked in saber training. Oh, that might be good. You should do repelling, BJ. It's the fall. You should not be worried about it. Stop at the bottom. Well, thank you, Crispy Priest. That's not terrifying at all. Just jumping in random lives to say you matter, you're loved, and you're cared about. Oh, Ron. That was that's lovely, and I agree. Oh, oh, well, that actually made me really happy. Thank you very much. Go spread that love around. That's great. Ron Golson, is that how you pronounce your name? But Amy, uh, I'm gonna message you, Amanda. I need to message you too about uh, Amanda for tomorrow, Amy for another day for a live. Yeah, I need to interview your Mandalorian too. I don't know if I have my Mandalorian ready before your video. Palpatine, tell us the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise. It's not a story the Jedi would tell me. I'm really curious to hear it. I've done so many <laughs> tellings of, of the story of Darth Plagueis. Palpatine getting Order 66 at a fish and chips shop. I would love it. Oh, how cool would that be if we could make that work? Like get, a, get an Order 66 while I was there. Palpatine doing stand-up comedy for Vader. Okay, honestly... Stand-up comedy. I want to do the stand-up comedy thing so bad. Um, but I'm not a writer. I, I can write little bits here and there and little little silly jokes. Yes, very, very easily. But like to do like a stand-up routine, like that's just not my kind of comedy. That's not what I'm good at. I have reached out to a couple of my friends who are stand-up comedians, and I've tried to commission them, like, hey, how you know, as a stand-up comedian, could I pay you? to write me a set. And then I would I would 100% dress as Palpatine and go to like an open mic night and do Palpatine stand-up. I would love that so much. Happy Friday, my master. Thank you. Happy Friday to you. 
you want this, don't you? Palpatine phrase. You did the the avid video game controller. You could uh, you could replace the controller, the viral or popular of the moment, and repeat the formula. Oh, I've done a ton of. You want this, don't you? And actually, I'm planning on doing a. Actually, let me write it down before I forget. Cerveza Cristal. I don't know if you guys have seen any of those commercials, but I want to do the Palpatine. You want this, don't you? And then, you know, it. So, yeah, let me write that down. Cerveza Cristal. Yes, uh, not sure what time, but if you can, I will make it work. Okay, I will message you later, Amanda. And Amy, I will message you as well so we can pick a date. Uh, I want to do that. Palpatine recalls a Sith Bucks party that went too far. Perhaps one of the Sith vomits all over the cantina on Coruscant. That'd actually be pretty funny. I would love to do like a like a hangover parody with like I don't know if you all saw my my three Sith and a baby parody. But I would love to do a hangover parody with like me, um, Maul, Dooku, and Darth Vader. Dooku is like the one that gets left behind because we don't really have a Dooku. But yeah, Palpatine scenes show tunes. I would love that. Palpatine re reaction to a Do It remix. That sounds interesting. I'll have to look up a Do It. I would love to see Palpatine the musical. Oh, I would love to do that too. I've I've done several music videos as Palpatine, but I need to do more. Palpatine becomes a pro wrestler and gets pain inflicted against him that the coach Cretan sketches on all that. I'll have to look that one up. I don't remember those on all that. You should startle people in public at some sort of event ju or just a Starbucks or something. The reactions would be priceless. Very funny, actually. Most people in public don't really react to my Palpatine. It's, I think we've gotten to a point in society where so many people are filming and hoping to get like those reaction videos that a lot of people uh, like don't, don't really react as much out in public. Part of your Broadway world. Hello. Oh, it's a podcast. That's cool. I love Broadway. I, that's one of my dreams is to be a performer on Broadway. One day it's gonna happen. Amy, yeah, rock on. We'll get it. We'll get it done. Um, thank you very much for being so willing and for being so patient. It's it's just hard to line up availability, especially when I'm getting into the makeup. And and I but I want to shoot with you so bad. You have such beautiful photography. Especially your cosplay photography is just amazing. Every single shot is just amazing. That's okay. It's going to be a bi-weekly or monthly series. Oh, okay. Amanda, that, that makes it a lot easier. You belong on Broadway. Thank you so much. I, I, I would love that. Hear me out. Hear me out. Papa Palpatine playing Sabacc. That's from my friends at Hyperspace Props who make, who make uh, Sabacc decks and... Um, credits from a galaxy far, far away and other other props like that. And I want to, I need to learn to play Sabacc. Next time we meet up at a con, I need you to teach me how to play Sabacc so that I can do um, Palpatine playing Sabacc. I would love that. Maybe we can even set up a video, you know, me and like the Twi'lek there. Maybe we can get Mr. Roger Rogers, um, all of us sitting around playing Sabacc. I would love that. I do know a writer or two. This is true. I do. Do I know writers who do stand-up comedy? That's a little bit different. You can help with comedy? Okay, Amanda, we're going to have to talk more because I'm definitely going to need help. When are you getting into the makeup again? I am getting into the makeup again. I am filming a, a video with Backyard Tripod. I don't know if you guys have seen. I did a I did a video with them a while ago. I was like the I was the post credit scene was Palpatine. Uh, but I'm filming something with them, and I'm a I'm a Force Vision Palpatine, so that's going to be interesting as well. Palpatine runs out of fuel on a major highway. Palpatine shuttlecraft is repaired by a dodgy mechanic. <laughs> Palpatine the musical. You should. Um, Palpatine shuttle isn't accepted for registration of the DMV. Live with Palpatine tomorrow. Yes. Yes, I am definitely planning on doing a live with Palpatine tomorrow. Um, it'll probably be later in the day. Uh, but yes, I'm planning on doing a live. So everyone, be aware, planning on doing a live as Palpatine tomorrow. So I would love to see you all there um, if you want. Thank you, Danielle, for reminding me. 
I got me a Sabak game from Disneyland last year, and I still haven't opened it. I actually have a Sabak deck as well from Galaxy's Edge, and I need to learn to play. And then I want to get some of the Sabak decks from Hyperspace Props because they their stuff is so good. I love their stuff. Palpatine checks on Project Necromancer. Oh, Project Necromancer is great. P.S. I am loving the Bad Batch final season. I am so excited and so scared every week. <laughs> Palpatine rejecting paid time off for Stormtroopers, or perhaps Palpatine on the phone rejecting leave for Darth Vader. That would be good. Hello, Baby Yoda. You're right here behind me as well. Sci-fi chick. Oh my gosh, Marissa. Hello. I haven't seen you in ages and I miss you. Mm. You know, you don't live that far away and I never see you and it makes me sad. When you lived here in when you lived here in Ogden, I feel like I saw you all the time. Uh but but yeah, I miss you. Do you maybe want to interview on my podcast, a uh, part of your Broadway World podcast? I would love to interview on your podcast. That would be amazing. I'm glad you miss me more. <laughs> I'm making a crosshair cosplay for Bad Batch Season 3. That's great. I kind of want to do a Hunter cosplay, but I have so many cosplays, like, backed up, you know? And so, it's hard. Rise of Skywalker is on as we speak. Oh, that's great. You know, there were a whole lot of things I really liked about Rise of Skywalker. And then there were a whole lot of things I didn't like about Rise of Skywalker. It's really, I don't know. The whole Disney trilogy, I enjoy it. I do. I really do. But I, I always wonder if it could have been handled better. I feel like there was no clear direction when they went when they went into it. And if there was a better direction, it probably would have been, um, you know, a clearer vision. Uh, part of your world. Yeah, I would love to be on your podcast. Uh, you're going to go board your flight. Where are you going? Have fun. Whatever it is. I, I love you. Be safe. Um. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a Disney and a Broadway podcast. I love Disney. I love Broadway. So great. I would love to be on it. Uh, send me, drop me a message or something. We can arrange, we can arrange it. Um, I know I have, I have a few sounds saved on TikTok. Uh, like they're popular right now. So I definitely, I want to, you know, hop on those and do some Palpatine stuff. It's funny. There are so many people that are like so good about like they use a sound for a character and I'm like, Oh my gosh, that works so well. And then I like, I, I try to do it with Palpatine, but I just feel like I don't necessarily, I don't know. I don't pull it off. I don't, it doesn't land as well as so many other people when they're using other sounds like that aren't specifically for um, like the character, but they, they for, somehow fit so perfectly. In Rise of Skywalker, instead of Palpatine saying, no one will stop the return of the Sith, he should have said, no one will stop the revenge of the Sith. That would have been great, too. I would have loved that. Palpatine gets a, a contract offer to join the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> um, I have these, I have these, this series of videos, I haven't done one in a while, where it's Palpatine auditioning for other, um, other, like villains in other universes. And so I, I have done him auditioning as Lord Voldemort. So that would be, maybe I'll have to do a little, few more of those. Huh. You've done a little bit of stand up, Amanda. Really? That's cool. I had no idea that you did stand up. Like I thought you were, you're, you're very funny, but I didn't know you did stand up. So that's great. Mikhail joined. Oh, captain, my captain. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Mikhail. Well, it was my uh, my my show captain when I worked in Japan in Harry Potter World. Um, he was the captain of the conductors, and he's a great guy, great actor. Oh my word! We got to do a play together while we were down there, um, and I would love, 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 love to do another show with him. So so talented, so talented, so kind too. Happy late birthday! Thank you. I'm just thinking uh, about you. How have you been? It's been forever. Amy Silverman, hello. It has been forever. Good evening, Kent Foy. Good to see you. How is everyone doing? Uh, what we're doing tonight, uh, I'm getting into my Palpatine. Oh, Palpatine gets 
an angry phone call from South Park Mickey Mouse. I've thought about getting like angry phone calls from Mickey Mouse. Like even just like as like BJ Palpatine cosplayer getting an angry phone call. But I'm, I'm sometimes afraid to do stuff like that because I'm afraid I'm actually going to get an angry call from Disney like telling me to like, hey, knock it off. So I don't know jinxes on that one. Palpatine constantly annoying Dr. Hemlock about why Product Necromancer is taking so long. Like calling him like, hey, Hemlock, just checking in. Yeah, yeah, so just Necromancer. Catch me up on that. That might be pretty funny. I like that idea. I'm going to grab a little... Oh, I want to show these off real quick. Um, I don't know if all of you have seen these yet. These are my stickers. The personalized sticker like that I had made. Uh, like the handout. Put in the Pal and Palpatine. Um, I, I ordered, I think, 100 to start with. Um, but I've gone through a lot of them, just giving them out at random things here and there, sending them to fans who write me letters. Um, so yeah, they're great. Um, if you would like, uh, putting the Pal and Palpatine sticker, uh, you just got to send me, you know, a, a letter or, or something and I, I will mail one of these out as a thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you very much, Director Krennic. <laughs> um, Actually, I need to order some more of these uh, as well because I'm running low. And I'm actually going to a really fun event at the beginning of May. And so I I can I need to have more of these to hand out to everyone who is in attendance. But if you want one, let me know. Uh, write me a letter. You can find like my mailing address in all of my, my bios and whatever else. I guess I could also do this. Um, here, this is for you guys. There's my mailing address and all my info. Here's one for you, mailing address, info, and stuff. And then for you, mailing address, info, and stuff. Don't worry. That is not my home address. I'm not giving away my home address. Um, this actually gets mailed to my favorite comic book shop in downtown Ogden, Utah. Uh, my friend owns it. And I go down there and, yeah. Yeah. Um, pick up fan mail and stuff from them. I actually, speaking of fan mail, I got this just the other day. Someone mailed me this, the villainous game. Um, I've never played it. I'm actually like, I'm not a huge like board game or video game guy, but this looks like a lot of fun. And I've never played villainous before. Um, I know they have different editions that are like different things, but but yeah. Um, this is from Stephen Lowry. He says to my friend the Emperor, aka BJ Wimpy, enjoy this in the enjoy this game with you and all your friends. May the force be with you and long live the Empire. So that was so kind of him. I'm gonna do a little video with this probably tomorrow in Palpatine thanking him as well. But got this just the other day. I got it like the day before my birthday. And so it was kind of exciting. It was one of those like, oh, like you sent me something. It wasn't for my birthday, but it's kind of like my birthday. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, but yeah, if anyone wants to send, I'm going to be sending Stephen uh, a sticker. I'd be happy to send any of you a sticker. So yeah, just let me know. Why did you write me up, Edward? I don't know who you are, Edward. Uh, but if I wrote you up, it was probably for a very good reason. I'm going to be Dee Bradley Baker in two weeks. You have to hurry up and finish my crosshair cosplay. Yes, oh my word. I want to meet Dee Bradley Baker very badly. The next time I'm at a con that Dee Bradley Baker is at. He is like the top of my list. Being a voiceover artist myself, um, I his his work on um, his work is just so good. Uh, and the Bad Batch is amazing, but all, honestly, he's had such an amazing career. D. Bradley Baker has. It's a career that you know I want to. Uh, aspire to even i like honestly even a portion of a the career that that man has had i would feel so amazing and content and happy love your kid sounds you're my friend i love and i love finding videos like that or like sounds that are so not palpatine or so cutesy and then you have this like hideous you know man saying them i think that's so funny and but palpatine gets jury duty Sam Hoffman, miss you, miss you too. Let's see. Palpatine lectures Darth Vader over the phone on having a costly Pazak addiction and making maxing out his Republic Bank credit card. That's pretty funny. 
Star Wars lawyer. I would love that. I just don't know how I would do something like that. Um, like I would love to have him like be questioned. Like, is there any reason why you shouldn't be in this? Yes, I'm a dark lord. <laughs> just opt in to give my uh give my like and love low pulp high metachlorians palp juice. Hello, yeah. Shoot my force juice. Palpatine tells behind the scenes Star Wars set. Oh, that would be fun. Again, I feel like that's something I would need to write. I, I'm very good with quips and like quick things on the fly, joke wise, like long form or even like like well thought out jokes. I'm not the best. Call for Papa Palpatine. Palpatine loses his unlimited power and needs jumper cables between scenes. I've thought about that too. Just like, you know, it's like. Gish. It's warming up. Now oh, that'd be funny. It's treason then. Except for he's he's not very pal he's it's treason then. I guess when he says it at that point, because he's not palped out yet. Palpatine loses his unlimited. Oh, I read that one. Palp tells Vader that the Empire can't afford more lightsabers or limbs. Yes. Speaking of lightsabers. Saber Neo X, they sent me that really cool uh, Kyle Katarn lightsaber, and yeah, you know, I'm on their their what is it? Their affiliate program now. So if you need a lightsaber, let me know. I'll I'll hook you up with a code to get seven percent off your purchase. What do you know about the Sith Acolyte series, and which Sith era are they using? So all I know about the Acolyte series is it's set, I believe, 100 years before the Phantom Menace. I think. I think that's when it's set. And so that's the era that they would be in. You got one that's on display in my kitchen. Yes, you did get one. It's on display in your kitchen for sure. And that's cool that's on display in your kitchen. I have your little note over in like my, my box of cards that I've gotten. It's so, it's, I loved it. That handmade Death Star card. So cool. Sorry, I'm opening a Coke. I need a little drink. Landon Foster. Hey, buddy. It's kind of funny. Normally I do like a birthday live with Palpatine. It just hasn't worked out. Um, but yeah. Palpatine learns uh, Empire credits have no value on Earth. Where do I get one of these stickers? I can get you one, Landon. I know a guy. Uh, next time we're, we have like a family party, I'll bring one for you. Um, or if you want to write me some fan mail, I will mail one to you. <laughs> I already have three lightsabers from my son. Look, ooh, a sun spear. Crispy Priest, hey, I'm an audiobook narrator. If you ever need an audiobook narrator, let me know. I just finished an audiobook project as well. Um, it was It's called The Drag Queen Detective, book five. I believe it's called um, Sailor Strangulation and Sunscreen. I just finished that. I got the email today. That it is now available. Um, it is now available on uh, Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. So if you're interested, if anyone's interested in listening to me be an audiobook narrator, go and do that. And Crispy Priest, if you need an audiobook narrator, let me know. BJ, 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 BJ. It's Master Venom 36. I love you. Well, thank you very much, Master Venom. Palpatine shares the Star Wars auditions from 1979. Oh. That might be fun. Palpatine auditioning for the role of Palpatine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm writing that one down, too. Um, original audition. I love that. I love that. It's a good idea. I want you to act you're my bad guy or any part in my future movie. Crispy Priest, 100%. I would love to be in anything. I'm very open. Very, very open. That'd be great. You should do a video about Palpatine learning about the Death Star's destruction, like what Robot Chicken did. That would be fun. You can put your own funny spin on that. I would love to do more of stuff like that. I would even love to recreate that Robot Chicken one because it's so good. It's so good. It's classic. 
Another idea, teaching a youngling how to party like the 1980s, maybe sharing stories with Sam Jones at the nightclub. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, silly. Oh. How's everyone doing? Like, like overall, just checking in, you know? Overall, I would say I'm doing I'm doing very well. I feel like um, I'm working hard, getting a lot done. Uh, I'm doing so many auditions for movies and television and and commercials and all that. And I know I know it's all a numbers game. I really do. Oh, I got someone here. If I ever get the chance to meet you, I need to get a Palpatine figure signed because I got a Scout Trooper signed by Jen Markham a few months ago. Oh my word! If someone asked me to like autograph a Palpatine thing. Oh, like at a con or something, I would probably cry. So soda man, it if you do that, you will make me cry. And it'll be wonderful tears. So I love that. Were you in Clue at Hell in late February? I feel like I saw you, but I'm not sure. Yes, I was. Um I went on once uh at Clue in Hale. Um I'm the, right now I'm the understudy for um I'm the understudy for, Co not Cogsworth, excuse me, Wadsworth in Clue on stage at Hale. And um, I got to go on one time. I believe it, was it in late February? Yeah. Yeah, it would have been in late February. So yeah, I went on as, as Wadsworth. So maybe you saw me if you were there that night. It's where they used to announce, like, today the role of so-and-so will be played by so-and-so. Like when an understudy went in. But they didn't. They don't anymore. So I just went in. But yeah. Congrats. Keep following your dream. Thank you. I'm I'm trying to follow my dream. I will say, I know, and like logically, I know acting and auditioning, it's all a numbers game, you know? And and I've experienced it myself. Like I have to do so many auditions before I get one callback and so many callbacks before I book a part. And there's just a lot of rejection in this business. And there are days where it's harder than other days. Uh, there are days where I audition, I audition, I, I audition. And I'm just not seeing the results. Or I, or the things that I'm getting aren't as big as I would like. And, and that can be hard. But, you know, I push past it. And, and yeah. And overall, I'm doing really good. But, like, you know, Crispy Priest over here or anyone... If you are a writer and you're looking for an audiobook narrator, I would love to audition for you. If you're making a film, I would love to audition for you. If you're a series, I would love to audition for you. <laughs> like, I'll just put it out there in case there happens to be anyone watching who might want to hire me for any of those jobs. I'd be very happy. few hard days recently, brother. Not going to lie. But keep on keeping on, right? Yep, exactly. Same here, Chog. Chog the Great. You're great, so keep on keeping on. Palpatine reviewing and rejecting uh, dodgy resumes for Stormtroopers. That could be pretty funny. Palpatine and Vader attends Voldemort's wedding at a Malfoy Manor. That would be so fun. That would be... See, something like that I would love to do, but I really feel like I would have to really write it well. And also, um, um, I would have to... Like, get a lot of people involved, you know? Reaching the ghost of Christmas future in the Muppet. <laughs> like, that would, oh, or like, just pointing, come it, some of that, come it. <laughs> uh, I get it. I am in film school, and my teacher says it's one in 29 callbacks for a successful actor. But, hey, every everything counts. Keep it up. That's right. It's one in 20. Sorry. No, it, it can be one in 20, or it can be one in more than that if i'm being honest for me personally um but yeah just keep on keeping on like like chog said um let's see palpatine smoking at a local park <laughs> uh you could do a video of palpatine honoring the life of his former master darth Plagueis. how would he do that or would he do that i guess that's interesting Christy priest very good website just got 1.1k hits on my analytics that's great only been out three times with my cosplay uh, custom-made costumes. Crispy Priest, that's awesome, though. 
I love that you hit 1.1K. That's always, that's so fun. Like big things, like little things even. Like celebrate them. Get out there. It's amazing. Amazing that you put yourself out there. Crispy Priest, drop your website. I'd love to, I'd love to visit. Um, Sorry, my makeup artist just texted me. Uh, it went away though. So I'm going to have to check that out. Probably my makeup artist hammering things out for tomorrow. Let's see. How long have we been going? Probably about an hour. Yeah, 45 minutes. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up soonish. How do you have five people with 3K light? Um, I don't know. Unless a lot of people are like liking it a lot. Or I know there's been a lot of people who have come in and gone out. So there's that too. Uh, I'll send you a link Sunday. Need to finish updating. Promise. Please do. Crispy Priest, please do. I'd love to see it. Palpatine watching Tales of the Empire. I'm actually going to do a Palpatine. Because I did a BJ reaction to the Tales of the Empire trailer. I would love to do a Palpatine reaction to the to the Tales of the Empire trailer. So don't worry. That one's coming too. Palpatine had a Utah Jazz basketball game or a Royale Salt Lake game. Oh, Jesse. That would be so fun. Oh, my word. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Oh, actually, I, I got to film a commercial with the Utah Jazz. Uh, this has been several months ago now, and it hasn't aired yet. It's funny because I told like the kids that I work with at the school that I did that, and they don't believe me because they're like, well, where can we watch it? And I'm like, it hasn't aired yet. And they're like, how do we know that you did it then? <laughs> And it's funny because I get they you know they don't may not realize a lot of this stuff. Well, like movies, you know, like actors film movies and then it's not released for like four or five years sometime. It's crazy. Palpatine reading a bunch of younglings at preschool would be funny. I would love to do that. But again, something I would have to set up to get little kids there, you know. Um, luckily, I do have lots of nieces and nephews, so maybe I could arrange something with all of them. That could work. Palpatine learns to ride a bicycle. That would be very hard in the robes. Very hard. Dress up as Palpatine at school for your students. Um, I've talked about it. I've thought about it. But then I, I was worried it'd be like a waste of the makeup for a day, you know? Because then I'd just be stuck at work. Um, although my boss um, has said that if I, you know, talk to her ahead of time, they would arrange it so that I could go and be Palpatine uh, or whatever. Palpatine explained to Vader... How he is kind of his dad. I actually love that one, Soda Man. Again, Soda Man, if someone asked me to sign a Palpatine item, I will cry and it would be wonderful. <laughs> hey, Mandy. Happy birthday, my friend. Thank you. Mandy, you're great. The Gantina band and Palpatine says, needs more cowbell. <gasps> oh my gosh. Could I... Could I digitally put myself in with the cantina band? Just like playing cowbell? I got a fever. Oh, oh, more cowbell. I'm going to write that down because I actually love that. More cowbell. Palpatine gets a clown gig for a birthday party. That'd be funny. What made you decide to play Palpatine? So actually... Um, the Palpatine thing is funny because I mean I've always liked Palpatine. He's a great character. Um, I, he's not my favorite character. A lot of people confuse that. I like Palpatine. He's great. Um, but the reason why I became Palpatine, um, I was hanging out with my friend Sean, who's actually my makeup artist as well, and I live here in Utah. So I'm in the 501st Legion. I'm in the Utah um, garrison. It's called Alpine Garrison, and they used to have a gentleman who did Palpatine, but he had quit and moved away and didn't want anything to do with the 501st anymore. And Sean was talking to me and he was saying like, how, you know, like, it's really great to have Palpatine like at, it's really great to have Palpatine at events because he's such a, you know, a good, well, number one, it's, it's a face character, but not quite a face character, you know, because obviously I have the gunk on my face. Um, yay, thank you for the confetti, Mandy. <laughs> You're now my number one gifter. Uh, but hello, neighbor. Hey. Uh, but so Palpatine. So um, so Sean said, hey, if I were to help you with the makeup, 
do you think you would want to be Palpatine? And I'm like, yeah, why not? That sounds fun. That'd be a fun character to do. And so Sean Gordon, if you haven't yet, follow him. I, I tag him in a lot of my stuff because he does my makeup. Um, so um, he, you know, he sculpted a custom piece prosthetic for me. Uh, one of my friends helped me make uh, my robes. Actually, the robes I'm on now are like version three. I've gone through three different versions of the robes. I think the ones I have now are very, very close. I think my sleeves are a little too long. Like, honestly, like looking at stuff, but I kind of like them. It makes it feel big and epic. I'm like, wow. So I'm okay with it. But yeah, that's how I became Palpatine. And then doing stuff like this, like the sharing my videos online as Palpatine. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, that was in 2020, you know, COVID. Um, I lost uh, a couple of acting jobs to it and I just needed a creative outlet. And so I was living with my friend Sean at the time. We were roommates. And so, um, yeah, we just started doing stuff. Oh my gosh, everyone, the nerdy flutist is here. <laughs> Kelly, the nerdy flutist. If you don't follow her, go follow her. Uh, she plays the flute and does wonderful covers of different songs. I actually use her um palpatine theme she plays it on a, a bass flute if i'm if i'm not wrong and so it's, it she plays the do 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 you know palpatine's theme uh she plays on it uh she plays that and i use it in a lot of my videos uh as like background for like the palpatine noise so uh i love her she's great i actually just got my uh, album. She released her very first album. Uh, it's mostly Star Trek music, but hey, a galaxy far, far away and a galaxy slightly closer can still be friends. And uh, I was so happy to help fund her Kickstarter. I'm so excited to uh, listen to her album. And I can't wait to get my hands on all my little goodies that I got from the Kickstarter. I'm, I haven't opened my album yet, uh, Kelly, because... Um, I wanted to do an unboxing as Palpatine. So, um, yeah, so don't worry. I'm going to be doing it. And thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. Bye, everyone. Nerdy Flutist. The Nerdy Flutist, or Kelly. Go follow her. So talented. Great stuff. Darth Bane. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, you are late. I'm about to be done. So, but good job. We're glad you're here. You can't afford me yet, but you're working on it. Can't afford me, like, to hire me? <laughs> you probably could. Switching over here since my connection over there was spotty. That's okay. I was just saying how great the nerdy flutist is, how much I love her music, how much I use her music all the time uh, as Palpatine. I just got her, I just got your album and like all my little goodies from the Kickstarter and I can't wait to open it as Palpatine tomorrow to do a little unboxing. Keegan, hey buddy. Hello, heard good things about you. Yeah, she's great. Uh, Darth Bane, I got distracted. That's okay. Palpatine's kitchen outtake. His hands get stuck in the waffle maker. Ooh, that'd be fun. Does anyone have any Papa Palpatine's kitchen ideas? Like more things that I can make as Papa Palpatine. So, yes. So, yeah, Nerdy Flutas. I'm doing an unboxing tomorrow. I'm filming it tomorrow. I probably won't post it tomorrow, just so you're aware. Um, but, yes, I am filming it tomorrow. Juanita, hello. Oh, my gosh. Palpatine resurrects Darth Bane. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun one. And see, Palpatine argues with his head engineer over the phone about how having a cube-shaped Death Star is a stupid idea. And then that guy goes and sells it to the goes and sells it to the Borg, right? Make some summer snacks. That's good. Palpatine makes porg and ewok soup. That sounds delicious. Actually, chicken noodle soup, and let's call it porg noodle soup. That might be a good idea. Pork noodle soup. Because if I can get like the chicken noodle soup with stars, that could be fun. Pork noodle soup. I like that idea. I'm interested in seeing the clash of the fandoms, right? Can you imagine like Palpatine like just like chilling out to some Star Trek vibes? <laughs> Nabu Nachos. I actually recorded a Nabu Nachos one already. I just need to edit it and post it. Tatooine tacos. That's a great one. Exegol eggs. Ooh. 
Palpatine's perfectly prepared perfection pizza. Homemade, of course. I don't know. All my Papa Palpatine's kitchen stuff is not homemade. Not even close. <laughs> Palpatine goes to the gym. I've thought about that one before. Um, actually, I got a membership at a, at a newer gym. I wonder if I could talk to them and like go, if they would let me go and like film there. Thane uh, is the CEO of America First now. Has j jazz access. Oh my gosh, really? Man, yeah, I may have to take advantage of that. Back in September, a Star Trek cosplayer called my Boba Fett cosplay a stormtrooper. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you still have Tick Tick? Yes, I do. I'm live on Tick 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 right now as well. Palpatine goes to church. That'd be good. Palpatine goes back to the playground. It's it's getting to be spring weather. I could go back. I'm sure they'll be okay. Our state is super nice, and we live in a great city. We do live in a great city. We really do. Uh, and I would love to. I would love to go to the gym. It is hard though. You know, you have to get permission to film in some places, especially like gyms and other stuff like that, because you don't want to. You don't want to offend anyone, and you don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. So yeah. But I would love to do that. Palpatine talks about how Borg drones are more obedient and better than his useless stormtroopers. That's funny. Combine my nibblings with your nibblings. All the nibblings. All the nibblings together. Palpatine plants flowers. I have one. Plant Patine. I've actually done a, a few videos with my Emperor Plant Patine. That's pretty funny. Palpatine lawn care. I've done a Palpatine lawn care video. Palpatine going up to random people and asking them to strike him down. <laughs> Palpatine skincare routine. <laughs> I've done a couple of those. I could always do more, of course. Um, I said this earlier in the live, but just so everyone is aware, uh, I am getting into the makeup um, tomorrow. So, oh, excuse me, a little burp there. I am planning on doing uh, a lot of videos, but I'm also planning on doing a live as Palpatine. So uh, just be prepared. Um, hopefully you can jump on and do a live. How did Sidia survive, bro? Somehow. Somehow Palpatine returned. What food do you have trouble making? You can make a video show outtakes of you oh, on the cooking videos. That'd be fun. <laughs> yes. Palpatine retires and meets all the other retired Sith and Jedi in a nursing home. You know, my my grandmother is in a nursing home. And I've thought about, again, asking, can I come film there? And, like, have, like, Palpatine as this old man, like, like doing pickup lines to these older ladies. I think that would be pretty funny. Palpatine has a heated debate, debate on the best type of takeaway food. Okay, okay. Palpatine is a runway model. Yes, strut my stuff. Bus queen, slay. I ate that. <laughs> no cap. Bussin' bussin'. Hey, fellas. Hello, Robert Rivera. Palpatine skin tear. I thought, I thought about more Dolores crossovers. Actually, I've already talked to Dolores. Um, I have some stuff that I'm filming to do a crossover with her. So, yes, I love doing crossovers. I love doing collaborations. Anyone wants to do collaborations, please let me know. I would love to try and arrange it so we can do more, more, more of it. Which Star Wars episode is your favorite and my least favorite? Ooh, I always say that my favorite is the one I've watched most recently. Because every time when I watch Star Wars, whichever one I'm watching, I just love it. And I it makes me fall in love with Star Wars all over again. It's very hard to pick a one I least like. One that really pops to mind that I love the most is honestly just Star Wars uh, New Hope. The very first one, there's something about it. Uh, just the nostalgia and the and the beauty and the the newness of it when it came out, you know? I, I have a lot of nostalgia for um a lot of nostalgia for the original Star Wars. Have you ever collabed with Jen Markham? I haven't. I would love to collab with her. She's amazing. I met her once at um, at a con. It was very quick. 
And at the time, she didn't know who I was, uh, but she has since followed me. And I would love to actually, I should reach out to her, see if we can do something um, and collab a little bit. Mom just walked in and looked over my shoulder and she says, You're still adorable and she loves you. Tell your mom I love her. <laughs> uh, Palpatine has a heated debate. Oh, we already did that one. Palpatine gives helpful advice on how to not burn out while being a galactic dictator. That's it. That's a great one. Star Wars is a space western, and it's so cool. It really is. I love Star Wars. Palpatine decides to retire from Star Wars and goes into a nursing home. His clone decides to turn the Empire into a Republic and asks Dolores for his job back. There you go. I just want to say I absolutely adore all the Papa Palpatine cooking videos. Thank you. Papa Palpatine's Kitchen is probably one of the favorite like segments that I segments that I do. Um... I have so much fun doing Papa Palpatine's Kitchen. And I think, number one, I like baking. I do. And I like cooking. I should do more of it, if I'm being honest. But, um, <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> My girlfriend from upstairs. Excuse you. Bless you. <laughs> um, Palpatine gives self-care instruction after uh, committing planet-wide genocide. That's a good one. Palpatine watches Star Trek. Palpatine saves someone having a heart attack using force. <laughs> I thought that clear. You know, clear. <laughs> Palpatine ordering 66 pizzas. I would love to, but again, the cost. I even looked at like going to Taco Bell and ordering 66 soft shell tacos. It just gets expensive really quick, you know? So, so yeah. Yeah. Good idea though. More videos of Palpatine singing songs from the Phantom of the Opera. I wouldn't mind a cover of The Room Where It Happens from Hamilton. That'd be fun. Nick played the amazing ballet last night, but the violinist did a piece and Chrissy and I were... <gasps> That's cool. I love that. Oh, what, what ballet was it? Yusef and Palpatine watching Star Trek for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. I'm totally going to do Star uh, Palpatine like listening to your Star Trek album. So, you know, just like do 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 Oh man, now I gotta now I feel like I have a runny nose now that I sneezed. Palpatine does his taxes and tries to convince that he is the emperor so he does not have to pay taxes. Palpatine's kitchen idea. It catches fire and he has to order food from Bantha Express. <laughs> 66 chicken nuggets. I could probably order 66 chicken nuggets. Oh, verify to continue. That's weird. I've never seen that before. That was weird. It popped up and... Sorry, I'm here. I will hire you in a heartbeat. Thank you. Palpatine orders 66 French fries. That'd be good. You know, Palpatine ordering them and then counting them out. One, two, three. <gasps> Thank you, darling. Hey, give me. Come here. Give me a kiss. It's a little kiss. <laughs> Off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's my girlfriend. She brought me a roll of toilet paper so I can blow my nose. <laughs> um, I am going to go off screen for this, so excuse me. Ah. Sorry about that. They're so cute. Well, thank you. Hello, Renetta Reno. How are you? Palpatine and Dolores. Oh, asking Dolores to do my taxes. That would be fun. You know, I'm gonna have to reach out. I'm gonna have to reach out to Dolores and ask her about that one because I would love to do something like that. Palpatine does Captain Kirk skit or meet Spock. That'd be great. Again, that's things are like, do I need to find another cosplayer or do I need to find a way to like splice myself into the scene, you know? But ordering like 66 fries or 66 pickles on something and then having Palpatine like count them and then there being less than less than that amount, like that'd be pretty funny. 
uh, Disney sells Palpatine to Warner Bros. And he's forced to appear in the Harry Potter franchise. That's pretty funny, too. <laughs> All right, my friends. Um, it is, you know, uh, we've been going for a little over an hour here. Um, my nose is now starting to run. I'll know what's going on. Uh, when you say you would do more collaborations, would you potentially travel for the collaboration? I know you have a lot of fans in the Garrison Titan in Washington. Honestly, what is your name? Dynasty of Evil Cosplay? Yes. If we can arrange something and make it work, I would 100% love to travel to Washington, film with you guys, film with your characters, film with your Garrison, and then post it all about it. I would love that. Russell has a ton of Palp of Star Wars recipes. I have a lot of Star Wars recipes too, but I would take anything that Russell has. That man is amazing. Amanda is always happy to collaborate. Oh yeah, man. Uh, oh Amadala, thank you very much. I don't know. Who, I I would love to do more with Amidala, or I would love to find a Ray cosplayer and do like a a Palpatine, like a Grandpa Palpatine. I've talked to my nieces actually about doing like like Papa Palpatine and like going around as like a grandpa with a little granddaughter. It just hasn't panned out, unfortunately. Palpatine goes back to the coffee shop. That'd be a good one. May the force be with you. Thank you. Have a good one, Major. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I got distracted. Uh, yes. Please DM me. If anyone is interested in collabs or anything, DM me on Instagram. Message me on TikTok. Send me a, a private message on uh, YouTube or anything like that. I would love to collab. I would love it. Um, anytime that I can, I will. Um, Amanda, I will be contacting you about doing a little interview tomorrow, maybe. Um, I love our city, if you still live in the same city. Yep, I live in South Ogden, Mandy. I'm just down the road. Um, yeah, but everyone, I would love to collab or do anything like that. Um, thank you so much for your ideas. I did get quite a few written down. Uh, if you have any more ideas, again, feel free to DM me. I'll do what I can to make some of them a reality. Um, but I just like, uh, I know I say this a lot, but I just want to say thank you all for being here. Um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for all of you as well. Like I, I love, I love doing what I'm doing. It's a great release, um, like artistically for me. And I have a lot of fun. My girlfriend, she said, you know, she'll continue supporting me and doing this on the on the socials as long as I'm having fun. And I do have a lot of fun um, being creative, posting, seeing responses, uh, being able to talk like this. I feel like I should do more lives. I know like I always worry that people don't want to do a live, see a live as me, as BJ. You know, I feel like they only want to see Palpatine. And so I, I always get like meh, meh about doing more lives, but then so many people have told me to do more, and so I really should. So I'm going to try and do more, even if it's just me and us just talking like this. Um, yes, Amanda, send me your number, please. I'd love that, so we can chat about an interview. Uh, keep making us laugh. I'm going to do everything I can, D. Chang. Palpatine opens a Discord server, sounds great. Uh, but yes, thank you all for being here. Thank you for all your comments, your likes, your shares. Uh, every everything means so much to me. Um, if you want to get a Papa Palpatine sticker, let me ah, come here. Remember, just drop me a piece of fan mail. Make sure it has your address included or a mailing address or something, so I can send you on a, a putting the pal in Palpatine sticker. Um, I also I thought about putting this on a T-shirt. Would people be interested in T-shirts? Uh, putting the pal in Palpatine T-shirt. I don't know. Let me know. Not a big deal, but. Doing a live tomorrow is Palpatine, so keep an eye out for that. Again, thank you all for being here. The Force is indeed with us. Um, and yeah, I, I I hope to see you all again soon. May the Force be with you. I'm going to end uh, Instagram first, so goodbye, Instagram. Let me exit out of this. You're all great. See you later. All right, sharing that. TikTok, I'm ending you next. Um, goodbye, TikTok. Thank you very much. Good seeing you. You're all great. Uh, may the force be with you. See you later.
And last but not least, YouTube. Don't tell the others. You're my favorite. Darth Bane, thank you for being here as always. Everyone else, thank you so much for being here. You're great. YouTube, you're my favorite. Shh, don't tell the other socials. And uh, may the force be with all of you. I'll talk to you later. All right, see you, everyone. Bye-bye.